God is an amazing God. He is a good God. He is also a consuming fire. He is just. He is kind. He is understanding. He is faithful. But he is firm. Father, thank you for who you are. Shall we pray? Father, create in us a new heart. Create in me a clean heart, O Lord. And renew right spirit within me. It's a prayer. Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. Oh Lord, take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and renew right spirit within me. Shall we pray it again one more time? Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew right spirit within me. Create in me, create in me a clean heart. Oh Lord, and renew right spirit within me. Mm. Cast me not away from your presence, oh Lord. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and renew right spirit within me. And renew right spirit within me. Hallelujah. And with your right spirit within me. Wave your hands and bless his name. This morning we're going to pray some prayer of petition. Our request to God. I take it from Psalm 17. Verses 8 to 9. It reads... Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked who oppress me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. So let us persecute on God this morning. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, keep me as the apple of your eye. I can hear you. Father, keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked one who oppressed me. From the wicked one who oppressed me. From my deadly enemies who surround me. Say, Father, keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked one who oppressed me. For my deadly enemies who surround me. 
Father, keep us as the apple of your eyes. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who oppress us. From our deadly enemies who surround us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The second prayer point is taken from Psalm 16 verse 1. It reads, Preserve me, O God. In you I put my trust. Preserve me, O God. For in you I put my trust. Shall I start to pray? Say, Father, preserve me, O God. For in you I put my trust. Preserve me, O God. For in you I put my trust. Preserve me, O God. For in you I put my trust. Preserve me, O God. For in you I put my trust. Preserve me, O God. For in you I put my trust. In the name of Jesus. You agree with me that the days are very interesting. We're in very interesting times. You know what I love about the word of God when you pray with understanding? It says the angels of God are ministering spirits unto us. And they excel in strength. But the only condition is the acting to the voice of his word. So when you pray anything outside the word of God, you'll be wasting your time. I've had people praying, abusing the devil. He's a goat. He's stupid. He's an idiot. It does not affect the devil because it's not in the Bible. I've had us pray some funny prayers. Holy Ghost, kill him. Can you kill a spirit? That's why you must understand the word of God. The angels hearken to the voice of his word and they excel in strength. So stop wasting your time abusing the devil. Spend time in knowing the word of God. Let us pray again. Say, preserve me, O God. For in you I put my trust. Preserve me, O God. For in you I put my trust. Preserve us, O God. For in you we put a trust. Preserve us, O God. For in you we put a trust. Preserve us, O God. For in you we put a trust. Preserve us, O God. For in you we put a trust. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wave your hands and adore him. Hallelujah. I draw and worship him. He's an awesome God. Yeah. 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 to speak in tongues. Rebo Rababa Shedebo Rababa Shedebo Raka Shedebo Pray understanding, pray in tongues. The Lord is here. Rebo Shura de Baraka Shedebo Raka Shedebo Rababa Shedebo Raka Shedebo Rababa Raka Shedebo Raka Shedebo Rababa Shedebo Raka Shedebo Open your mouth and pray. Rebo Raka Shedebo Rabba shede de bo, the Lord is here. Yeah, 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 Eru jeje ye 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 the lord is mighty the lord is mighty in battle ye 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 open madam pray raba shede de de bo raka shede de bo raya konde de bo raka shede de bo Rabba shede de bo raka shede de bo Rabba baba raka shede de bo Raya kunde de bo raka shede de bo Raya kunde de bo Oh Lord arise and let your enemies be scattered 
Arise, O God, let your enemies be scattered. Yeah, 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 yeah. God is an awesome God. He's a consuming fire. Raya kundaraba, raya kure de debo, raya kunde de debo, raba baba she de debo, raka she de debo, raba she de debo, kuraka she de debo, raya kunde de debo, re debo sho de debo. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I can hear amen. amen. Let me give you a charge to encourage you. As I've been encouraged by others. Please don't forget this. The word, Jesus Christ. The word of God became flesh. He died for you and I. In such a very amazing way. Not to play games. He now arose and went to the heaven and came back in the form of the Holy Spirit. He dwells inside of you. The Bible says light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it. Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Those people that do incantations, they are just looking for words. That's how they operate the demonic world. But you standing there, you are a child of the word. The word that was in the beginning that made the heavens and the earth. The word that formed the world. The world that is held by the word of his power. And it dwells inside of you. Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? Open your mouth and pray now. Face that challenge and contend with your contention. I said contend with your contention. Speak to that mountain. Speak to your mountain. Speak to your mountain. Don't speak to God about your mountain. Speak to the mountain about your God. Open your mouth and pray. Speak to that mountain. Speak to that mountain. Eru jeje de Aderu beru de Ye 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 In the name of Jesus you shall not be put to shame I said you shall not be put to shame You shall not be put to shame You shall not be put to shame you shall not be put to shame. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Focus on him and bless him. Bless the Lord of oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can I have the choir please? If you love the Lord, can I hear loud hallelujah? Amen. Hallelujah. It's a beautiful Thursday morning. Somebody make some noise to win. Hallelujah. If you are grateful Thank to be alive, Jesus. grateful to be in the house, make some noise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just wave our hands to him and just worship him. Wave your hands to him. Even as we praise him. Father, we thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Celebrate him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus will lift your name high. Hallelujah.
Why don't you worship God? This Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, we worship Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
love of God is so powerful and he can do anything.
seems to contradict all that you said Father we choose to trust you we hold on to your word that is our anchor every other thing will fail but your word never fails you will never fail Father we trust you this morning and we hold on to that promise we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your mercies, which are new every day. We thank you for the blessings you've earmarked for us today. Because you load us daily with benefits. We thank you for the blessings of yesterday. And we also thank you for the blessings of today. 
And Father, we pray that all that you've earmarked for us today will not elude us in the name of Jesus. You order our steps accordingly. And today will end well. And your name shall be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to Thursday Showers. Please give the Lord some praise. Our God is a way maker. A way maker. Hallelujah. We'll take a testimony this morning. It's like many of us don't want to testify of God's faithfulness and God's goodness in our lives. We have one this morning. I'm sure we have many more testifiers in church. I believe pastor may call you. He may not call you. But sister, Mrs. Olupumi Adamu, please, Abudu, please come. Please encourage her as she comes. One of the mommies in the Abraham and Sarah Fellowship. Consistent. Please keep on clapping until she comes. Come rain, come shine. She's there. Contributing her quota quietly. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I come to give all glory and adoration to God. I, th I come to thank God for his goodness in my life and in my family. I thank God since I came to this church, my life has never remained the same. And so God is touching my family through my life, even the little as, little as I have. God is touching my life through my family. And I thank God for the, uh, for the calling and the ministry of Pastor Taiwo. It's a life-lifting ministry. It has been lifting my life. Then this year, I thank God for the theme of this year that God's revealing glory. Indeed, he has been revealing his glory. And he will know he will continue to reveal it if Jesus comes in Jesus' name. Then this, uh, this January, I came to give a testimony of how, I don't know how he did it, but he just did it for me. Then August again, as we are going out on Thursday for Thursday evangelism. So I saw a banner at uh, Zabadin. So I just go through it. It's a, uh, the Rotary Club of uh, Lukweju. They we are doing cataract eyes training and operation. So I, I went and God did it for me, free of charge. If not, I know that if not for this church, if not for God's grace, because I'm going for evangelism, that is why I saw the banner. If not for that, I will not see it. And that grace will not be there. And it was done free of charge. I thank God for his goodness and his mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. She was all about doing God's work. And God laid up blessings for her. Had she not gone out that Thursday, she wouldn't have seen that banner. And that banner could have been placed there because of her. Praise the name of Jesus. There are times we are looking up to God for something and we've made up our mind that must come in a particular way. But God can come in any way he chooses. She had a medical issue and God made a way the way he wanted it. It didn't cost her a dime. You know what surgery costs these days. It didn't cost her a dime. And our science is perfectly restored. Praise the name of Jesus. So whatever the issues are, just keep looking up to God and keep on doing God's work. Keep on doing his bidding. And let God do what only he can do. Let's not focus on man. Let's keep our eyes on him. Praise the name of Jesus. So while we are rejoicing about that testimony, come and bring out our offerings to thank God for all he has done. God has been good. God has been good. God has been good. God has been good. 
God has been good. And God is still good. And God will always be good. Praise the name of Jesus. God has been good. God is good. And God will always be good. Can we rise to our feet with our offerings? And talk to God regarding that offering you're bringing to him this morning. You can tie that offering to a desire. You can tie that offering to a need. It can be a seed. To you, it can be a sacrifice. It's between you and God. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this privilege we have once again to bring our offerings before you. With our hands lifted, we present this to you, Father. We ask that these offerings find pleasure in your sight in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that the blessings due to us by this act of worship will not elude us in the name of Jesus. And we pray that as our hands are up in abundance, may they never come down due to lack or penury in the name of Jesus. Some may not have substance to present, but they presented their hearts. Father, whatever we present to you this day as an offering, it is with a sincere heart. Receive it, Lord, and bless us in return. In Jesus' name, amen. May you please have your seats. As we Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Good morning, pastors. Can we just whisper to our God, Lord, I see what you're doing. Let's whisper it again. Lord, I see what you're doing. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. You're always working. Lord, I see. Lord, I see what you're doing. Lord, I see. 
Give him honor, give him adoration in the house. Come on, if someone is here today that has a reason to say thank you, I mean, that's all. You just have one reason to say thank you. I want you to get your feet and begin to do it like you meant it. <laughs> Glory be to God in the highest. We give him praise. We give him praise. We give him honor. We worship him. We thank him for life. We thank him for health. Hallelujah. We thank him for his presence. We thank him for our salvation. Come on, give him praise. 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 Come on, get excited with his presence here today. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we worship you. Father, we bless you. We magnify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Isn't God faithful? Somebody has a psalm. Somebody has a song. Somebody has a prophecy. Somebody is just happy that God is God in his or her life. I'm looking for that person. Somebody, I mean, you can't keep it quiet. You can't keep it still. There is something bubbling in your spirit, man. I okay, God bless you. God bless you, you can stay. Marka Shata. Yes, somebody, somebody, somebody. Yes, yes, yes. I appreciate that. The voice is true. What the guy is saying is true. He's always jumping, he's always shouting, he's always excited in the presence of the Lord. Marka Shata Baba. We give him praise. And that's this, that's that's the that's how to receive from God. Glory be to God in the highest. <laughs> Have you ever seen little children before? Their parents kind of maybe went out and then coming back. And all of a sudden, you see them run and scream and jump, all kind of tantrums. Some with summer sauce, some with, because mom is back. Hallelujah. I remember in those days in the north, I mean, we have some evil folks in our compound. Mama, Anata, oh, yo, yo. Everybody would run. And we would join them to all of us. We start running towards their parents. And of course, when we got there, they would tap on all of us and they would have brought granules, cook granules. They would give us, oh, man, there's always something exciting when you know God is in the house. Am I talking to somebody here today? No, that person has a miracle. That person has a miracle. That person came with a testimony. And that person is running with miracles. In the name of Jesus. Tell that person, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. 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 Tell somebody, say, you know the secret? Keep it moving. Don't, come on. Don't let the devil keep you quiet. You know that song we sing? I shall not be silent. 
Ajá. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. I think my key cannot disturb you. I understand. But I like to sing it like I can, I like to sing it like this. I cannot be silenced. And I shall never be silenced. I will always. Maraka shanda brubo boka sanda brike se te 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 te. Lakato broko shanda baba baba. Nakanta broko skonte leke shkende brube. Maki sata boro boko sotelia. Shakanta baba baba katonde brike shinda. Nakanta broko skonte leke shkende baba. Leke boko shanda baba boko sotelia brike shetia. Nakanta boko to boro boko shonde brike shetia. Neke to boro boko sonde brike shenda baka talia. Nakanta baka to brike shende kedelia. Hey, maka baba kashata baba baka sola baba. Nakanda baba baba. Bene kuno speaking tongue. Be bold with it, Makara Baba. Be bold, Makashaka ta 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 ta. Makata braka sura Baba Baba. Raka shaka ta Baba. Raka Baba Baba. Tuone bage shere bage ya. Bere boko tuone bage shere bage tuone bage bage. Nakata braka baka tuone bage shere ya. Makanda braka baba baka tuone bage shere ya. Boko tuone bage shere bage shere bage ya. Makanda braka tuone bage shere ya. Nakata ta 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 baka tuone bage Baba Baba. Makanda braka tuone bage 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 bage. Makata da 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 da. Makata ba 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 ba. Boko tuone boko shere. Bakata <laughs> Nakanda bra kasona bra bra kasona 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 bra they can de 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 hey mara la 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 ma ka de 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 le 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 ma ka de bro ko tole pa ke shen da bro ko ro lo 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 ma ka sha da bra ka sha da bra ka tole pa ke shen ya na ka sha ka ta ba 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 ma ka ta bro ko tole pa ke shen pa ke shen ya ya ka da le 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 ma ka sha da bro ko tole pa ke shen ya ma ka ta bro ko tole pa ke shen pa ke shen pa ke shen ya ma ka da bra ka tole pa ke shen ya ma ka sha da 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 ma ka da bro ko tole pa ke shen pa ke shen hey. Makashaka ba 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 ba. Makaja broko chori beke sheri beke sheri. Makashaja broko chori broko chori beke sheri. Makanda broko chori beke sheri. Beni beke chori beke sheri. Makataja da broko chori beke sheri. Makashaja ba ba ba. Makanda broko chori beke sheri beke beke chori beke. Makashaja broko chori beke sheri. Makanda broko chori beke sheri. Makanda broko chori beke sheri beke sheri. Makanda broko chori beke sheri beke beke sheri. Shakanda broko chori broko beke sheri broko chori beke sheri. Rakanda ba 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 ba. Bobo 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 Makashona brava, makato baba baba baba, makashaka chava, makata brava baba, reke to brava baba baba shonya, reke to brava 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 baba shonya, reke Makatora makashanda baba baba, makanda baba baba makasone beke shere ya, leke to baba baba beke shere beke shere ya, shakanda baba baba makasone beke shere ya, nakoto baba beke shere beke shere ya, shakanda baba 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 baba, makoto baba baba baba, makashanda baba, lakata baba baba, lakato baba baba makasone beke shere ya, shakanda baba baba makasone beke shere ya, shakete baba baba makasone beke shere ya, makashanda baba baba baba, lakashakata baba baba, makato baba baba shakata baba, lakoto baba baba makasone ya. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Pray in the spirit. 
train the spirit. Let me hear you pray. Let me hear you pray. Makoto, the kende beke sheke te beko to boro boko shodia. Akasha kataba. Makoto boko shodia beke sheke te. Raka pa 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 pa. Raka pa 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 pa. Makoto boko shodia. Shaka daba kasha daba. Makoto boro beke sheke te. Manda braka to da braka shada braka to da beke shodia. Nakata da 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 braka to da beke shodia. Nakato beke shodia beke shodia beke. Roko to beke shodia beke shodia. Shika daba pa pa pa. Nakata braka shoda beke shodia. Are you tired? Let me see here you pray. Maka shakataba. Mara baka shonde brebo bobo. Mente breko tom breko shonde breka shakata ta. Makoko baka shakataba. Rakaka baka tone breka shedia. Yeke to boko shonde breka shedia. Shikanta baka shonde brebo. Baka to baka shakataba. Raka boko shonde. Yakanda baka shakataba. Raka to baka shonde breka shedia. Neke te 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 te. Moko to baka shakataba. Woko boko shonde brebo. Shikata baka to baka shata. Rakanda baka shakataba. Panta boko to breka shedia. Make it break a shoddy break a shedia. She cut up a casha cataba. Raka papa papa. Makata baka shodaba. Rakato baka shakataba. Rakata baka shata. Raka baka shakata. Rabako shota. Raboko shata. Rake. Makaka baka shote. Makoto broko shakata. Reketo broko shodebre. Nako baka shata baba. Makata baka shakataba. Rakam baka toria. Shakaba. 
Makata baba, rabo baba baba. Makato da breke shende breke shoria, breke chuba kashada baba. Shakata baka shakaria, nakata baka shakarwa. Makata breke shoria breke shoria, breke chuba 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 shoria. Makata breke shoria breke shoria, kashada baba breke shoria, breke chuba breke shoria breke shoria. Shakata baba baba, nakata baba, nakato baka shakaria, nakaka shakata baba. Makata baba, ra. Makata baba baba, makato da breke shoria. Leke to broko shonde breke shedia, shakata boko shonde breke shedia, shakanda baka shonde breke shedia, leke to bobo bobo boko shonde, shikanda baba baba baba, makaya kata braka shonde breke shedia, makasha kata baba, raka to broko shonde breke shedia breke shedia, shikata baba baba baba, makasha baka shonde breke shedia, kapumba kasha kata baba, baka ta baba baba baba, raba kasha shonde breke shedia, makata broko shonde breke shedia, shikende makata baka to broko shonde. Makanda ya kata baba koto breke shedia, makata brea koto breke shedia breke shedia. Nakasha nda baka chote ya, makanda kato breke shedia kere ya. Shaka ta baba baba, raka ta baba kaka shaka ta, raka ta baba kaka shaka, raka ta baba kaka shaka. Leke to baka shika, leke to baka shaka, baka shaka shaka, raka to baka shida, raka to boko shada, na baka shaka te breke shonya, leke ta baka shaka, raka ta baka to baka shaka. Lakanta braka toba shata, leke te 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 te, broko sote braka shinga, leke te braka shinga braka shata, boko to braka shanda braka shita, braka shanda, lakata braka tolia, shaka ta ba 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 ba, raka ba 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 ba, raka to boko shita, leke te boko shote, braka to boko shote bre, leke te boko tolia. You have one more minute. Open your mouth loud, confidently. Baka to boko shote breke shidia, nakata boko shote breke shidia, nakashidia baka shote ya, shaka to boko koto breke shidia, baka to boko to breke shidia, baka shata, baka to ba ba ba, baka to boko shote breke shidia breke shidia, nake to boko shote breke shidia, nakata baka to breke shidia, baka to baka to boko shote ya, shaka to ba 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 ba, baka to boko shote ya, baka to baka to ya, baka to boko shote ya, baka da 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 da, baka da da. Ta ta ta, mereke te 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 te, makoto boye ke te ya, shaka ta baba, shaka ta baba, makata baka, morobo koto ne beke shiria, manda braka shanda braka shoria, naka shaka ta braba ka shoria beke shiria, makanda braka shoria beke shende beke shoria, shika ta boko chom beke shende beke shiria, makata ka shaka, baka ya ba, rei waka ta ba. Makata braka shonda breke shende breke shonda breke shende Marika shonda breke shende breke shonda Makata braka baka shonda breke shende Makata boko shonda breke shende breke shonda Shakata boka shonda breke shende Laka shakata baka baka shonda Shakata boko shonda Leke to boko shonda breke shende Maka shakata boro Mando bro bo 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 Moko bo 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 rebya Baka to braka shanda baba Broko to breke shende breke shonda Shakata baka 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 to boko shonda Mako to boro boko shonda Shakata baka baka Laka to ba Ra Makanto de boko shonda, Hallelujah, 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 Mara baka shada ba. Hey, Bakasha Baba, lift up your two hands and begin to give him praise. Begin to give him honor. Thank him for that brief session. Makantere Shakata Baba, Makoko Bakasha Baba, who is like our God. Makata Baba, among the gods, who is like him. Makotore Beke Shetia, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, always doing wonders. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Give him honor. Hallelujah. Make a toba kashata, rakanta baka tobro kushutia, rekento boko shunda, rakanta baka shanda, ma koko rilia, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I believe strongly that somebody just woke up in the spirit.
Oh yes, you've been awake all along, but in the spirit, you were struggling. But I'm, I'm very certain you are awake now. This is the only place you can receive. It's, on, it's at this stage of mind that anything can happen. I feel the fire of God in the house. Somebody shout hallelujah! Your hallelujah is not strong as I expected. Ha! <laughs> Let me hear the choir. You shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. We give him praise. We give him honor. I think this is a good place to rejoice. Come on, let's dance. Hallelujah. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo.
We give him praise. We give him honor. I worship. I honor. I bow in adoration. He never ceases to all me. What a God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a great God we serve. Oh, my This is fearful in praises and glorious in holiness. Hallelujah. And fearful in praises. Oh. He wonders, hallelujah. I say he's glorious in whole. Marie la Cachada, fearful in praises always. Makatalabo. <laughs> hey! Hallelujah. Who he is like Makuta by Akashadi. Yes. Oh, Mariki Dinini, Marika. Hey, Makarela Kashataba. Mare, achieved it God must be honored must be honored must be Jesus must be oh, in my life every day not for what is done or what is not done who is judging him I say God must be oh yes hey oh There's nothing the devil can do about it. There's just nothing he can do about it. I say, God must be. Yes, must be. Hey, 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 hey. Jesus must. Remember, 
Shikanda lolo lolo brande kete nde le brakato. When you get out there, he will sing through you. Key or no key, heavens will support you. That's the way we train the choir. Is that we've trained them? You don't know why I've visited them, but I'm back. That's where anywhere they go, there will always be comments. This ones are specially anointed. Must be honored in my. Yes. I said God must be honored. Must be honored. Yes. Must be honored. In this church, the devil doesn't know what he's playing with. Jesus, Jesus must be honored. In this church. In this church. Every day. Every day. <laughs> the devil knows. He knows I have a covenant with God. So he's fighting like he's never fought, but he can never win. Jesus. Jesus. Oh yes, in In this church. Want to sing it for yourself gently? Just lift your hand and say, God must, yes, yes, all that must be. Yes, Jesus must be. Stand up where you are, just stand up where you are if you're in the choir. Or you are aspiring to be in the choir. You are not yet there, but you, you want to join them one day. Just stand up where you are. I'm asking God to anoint you specially. In the name of Jesus. Because for you to be in the choir or aspiring to be in the choir, it's because you know it's part of your calling. I'm asking for full dose of his presence in your life in the name of Jesus that when you open your mouth you breathe out Jesus any day anywhere in the name of Jesus I'm talking to the musicians as well you'll be amazed it's the same you but those who have heard you play before those who think they know you there will be days that they will, be, they will marvel we thought we knew him. We thought we knew him. In my life. I pray same for ushers. I pray same for intercessory group. I pray same for protocols and security. I pray same for parking lot ushers. I pray same for um, the drama unit, the benevolence, the hope. I mean, all our workers, I pray same. You see, when it comes to ministering to God, it's by the anointing. Even if you're sweeping the floor, it's by the anointing. It's never unto man. I pray for the staff. It's never unto man. If you try the best you can to impress a man, you will fail. If you start by impressing God, you impress the man more than you can ever dream you do. 
And honestly, the older you become, the more you realize that it doesn't worth it spending your whole life trying to impress a man or woman. Without first impressing God. Mm -mm. When you impress God, the people you are trying to impress will be so impressed by you that they will look for you. I feel the fire now. Jesus must be in every God bless you. You may be seated. This is what the showers is all about. To express yourself by the word you have been built on. In his presence. To minister to him. You see, when we say ministering to God, it carries two very important meaning. You say, what am I saying? The Bible says, I think in Acts chapter 13, there were prophets and teachers, so they were not unbelievers. They were believers. They were not just believers. They were ministry gifts. Not just that they had spiritual gifts. No, they themselves were ministry gifts in the fivefold. And the Bible says, as they ministered to the Lord, as they ministered to the Lord, the Holy Ghost spoke. I feel the, oh, Shiranda <laughs> Katoria. This is why Thursday is not Sunday. Sunday is great. <laughs> The story is like upper room. People don't know. And that's why when I come, I try to drive us back to what it is. I know what I got from the Lord. As they ministered to the Lord. The Holy Ghost said, separate. <laughs> so when people ask me the question, my purpose, I say, why are you, why are you so? Get into his presence, man. Be saturated and overwhelmed with him. You will know your purpose. If you know him, relationally, you can never Fail to walk in your purpose. So as they ministered unto the Lord, the Holy Ghost said, so you want to hear the Holy Spirit? You should be asking the question, what does it, what does it, what does it mean to minister to God? Because if you do, you will hear. You will hear. You will see. And when you get into that habit, let me say this quickly. There is nothing the devil can throw on you or against you that will stop you. I mean nothing. I'm not saying you won't feel it. I'm not saying it won't be painful. I'm not saying you won't be hurt. You mean you won't get hurt? But you cannot be stopped. Did you hear Paul? He said, yes, this happened between all this. This happened between this. This happened. <laughs> I said, God must be honored. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God in the highest. And you know, another thing is that you will forget yourself. You won't even make effort, any effort anymore to try to forget. You will forget yourself. If you are ministering to the Lord, you will forget about yourself. You remember that song? It says, mm, let's forget about ourselves. Concentrate on him and worship him. Let's forget about ourselves and concentrate. Concentrate on him 
Him and worship Him. Don't forget about us. And worship Christ the Lord. Oh, worship Him, Jesus Christ our Lord. As they ministered unto the Lord. As they ministered unto the Lord. So you want to ask yourself the question. In our services, when do we minister to God? I'm talking generally. I'm not just talking fountain. When do we really minister to God? Maybe sometimes in our worship, we, we, we get into that frequency and we just kind of, yeah, people just go. Maybe. But the bulk of our ministry or the bulk of our services I get towards the people, towards ourselves. There's a place for that, don't get me wrong. Because the, the people must be taught the word. Yeah? Where do you want to get taught if not in the church? As a matter of fact, there's nothing like Bible school in the early church. We only heard of it once, the school of Tyrannus. I know why. Because those who should understand in the church didn't understand they were busy pursuing legalism. So Paul had to go somewhere, look for a place where to teach the people the word. And the effect of good teaching is that the people will be made available to minister always to God. They will understand to the place where all they live for is minister to God. That's why he said the fivefold ministry gifts, I mean, our ministries are given. Why? For three things edification of the saints. Um, help me. The last one is for the work of the ministry. Sorry? Thank you. For edification of. Uh, the, is it edification of the saints? Equipping the saints? And then. Um, Yes. No, the, yeah, okay, okay, that's the same thing as edifying the saints. Yes, equipping the saints, edifying the saints, that's it. And then the last one is for the work of the ministry. So the reason we come to church, when we minister to him, we get the people, wow, I feel the fire. We get the people so educated that they know that, oh, the reason I'm here is for him. And they get to know their rights in the board. They get to know all that Christ has done for them, the finished work of Christ. They now begin to walk in it. And when you walk in the, in, the, in the finished work, believe me, you do more of ministering to God. So I look at ministering to God there. It's not just, I just want to worship. Oh, yeah, more than anything, yes. But even what I do to the brethren. So make sure that we are here today. They came to make sure we are here today. Tendencies. Tendencies. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. If they didn't do their work, you and I won't be here. But they only served you, Pastor. They served me. They served you because you were serving God. You were coming to meet with him. So they made the place comfortable for you and him. God will reward them. Amen. So when we talk of ministering to the Lord, it combines the worship and the service. You can never serve right. Please hear me. You can never succeed in serving if you don't worship. Even our prayers. We don't even know how to pray as we ought to pray. Shut up. I pray, Shapa Ikata. Oh, he gave you grace. By the time I bind, God bless you. He gave you grace. He is the reason you got the results you got. And he's the reason you are getting the results you are getting. 
So find time to be alone with him. Don't spend your whole time preparing to just meet the people. Otherwise, you'll be presenting yourself to the people. But if you take time to present yourself to God, you'll be presenting God to the people. I feel the fire. Very little, very few things will bother you thereafter. Very few things. And so the Holy Ghost spoke. What did he say? He said, separate unto me Paul and Barnabas. I hope you understand that Paul and Barnabas were either prophets or teachers or prophets and teachers. They were no, they were no baby Christians. To say that they were mature Christians would be an understatement. They were ministers of God. So you cannot say that I found my calling. So, uh -uh. In your calling, you will still guide. The fact that you are called doesn't stop you from being son or his son. Because it is as many as are led that are the sons. So in your calling, you will still be led. So in other words, you should be expecting his leadership. Separate unto me, Paul and Barnabas, unto what? The work that I have prepared for them. Then the Bible says, after they had prayed and laid hands on them, they released them. A brother approached me, was it last week? Very proper brother. He had approached me some two years or so back that I want to start doing some leadership teaching. Of course, I know he has the capacity. So I prayed with him and released him. So yes, he was doing it. So he came two weeks ago and said, I'm leading to start Bible teaching. He said, so I, I don't know, sir, if you will release me. I said, how? To go to do it or to leave church? He said, well, since I'll be doing teaching. I said, what does that mean? Leave church? I said, of course not. If he's to leave church, I'm not releasing you. If he's to do your teaching, oh, I release you 100%. He said, ah. I said, yeah. I said, are you scared that when you start to teach, pastor will say, ah. He said, I said, no, that's not fountain. That's never fountain. Never intimidated by anybody. If you're in the place of your calling, never. That's why we have many great pastors and teachers in fountain. Many great teachers and preachers, even those who are not ordained pastors. You know my belief? In the church in Jerusalem, there were great teachers and people. Every, every apostle had a ministry, and they all belonged to one church. Not just one body, one local assembly. And yet, there's no breaking of ranks. What we shock is this, that the one who was the pastor was not even an apostle when Jesus was here. You see, who was their pastor? James, the brother of Jesus. He probably was a believer, but we didn't hear too much about him. No, but Peter was there. Oh, yes. Remember when there was crisis and they came back to Jerusalem? And everybody had spoken. The moment he said, fine. By the time he gave his own verdict, that was the end of the matter. Your gift will make a way for you. You don't need to strive. Just get it right. Remember that he must be honored. It's all about his glory from beginning to the end. Are we grateful that we are Christians? 
And are we grateful that these things are real? Somebody shout hallelujah. Well, at this point, I, have, I honestly plan to take two testimonies. You are not bold enough to give your testimonies or you were not prepared to give it when they were given. Or you, it's always been there, but you are... Why are you shy for, for what? Shy because of the people? Is it any of them that gave you the breakthrough? Why should they hinder you? Two testimonies. I won't take three. I will take two quickly. All right. I've seen one. Are you two? All right. Oh, I already got two. You are one? Is she coming? Is she coming? All right. So, oh, I got two already. Oh, she is rushing to make it three. I said, I will take three. No, no, no. You stood first. Then I saw you second. Oh, I saw you four. <laughs> no, four. I saw her three. I saw you four. You see. And I'm looking at the time. Church, do they, do they come? But we don't want stories. We want what, was, what it was, what God has done, what it is. How many of them fall? Am I right? All right. Amazingly, they're all women. Why is it that women are usually the first? Have you observed? They are always the first. But it's true. Hmm. The, the men are the head in the marriage setting. No, they are the head in the marriage setting. But the women are always the first. Yeah. Hmm. Isn't God faithful? Okay. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to give God thanks. I shared the testimony during the webinar sessions, but I just want to give it oh, again. Okay. God is faithful. Um, he gave me a new job. Yeah. <laughs> and um, for a long time, I was in a job that wasn't really, um, my, my position wasn't what I was supposed to be. And I prayed and fasted and kept believing him for a change. And then after a long time, this year, in our month of supernatural progress, in the month of September, God lifted away my shame of 10 years. Amen. He gave me a fantastic yes. job that is 10 times wow. better. Remuneration, everything. When I saw it, all I could do was cry. It was as if all those years that can't cow on, yes, and the locals had eaten, God just gave me back jara. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's a good one. I'm sure some would have been asking you, where is your God? So, I mean, I mean sometimes like, well, all oh, this prayer, does it work? And some would have even counseled you, try to counsel you away from God. <laughs> but thank God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He said, I am God. I do not change. Yes. And that, see, it was short and good. Yes. Good morning, church. Good morning. Okay, so this testimony should have been given since April. And I'm always coming for Thursday service, and I was like, I'll give the testimony, but I never come uh -huh. up. And the pastor says something about, you're supposed to give testimonies, but you sit down because you're shy or something. So the testimony is, uh, March, I had a surgery, and before the surgery, I came to church, and I prayed on Thursday service like this, that God... Please stay contrary. I've never gone into surgery before. I hardly ever get sick. So please God, just... I was so scared. I was Googling. You know how when you open Google, everything just comes up. So I was really scared. I was like, please just stay contrary of the surgery. Give me quick, quick, quick recovery. And that happened. It was a successful surgery. I was back on my feet by April. So thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. That's a good one. Never had surgery before. And suddenly there was this ailment. And they are saying it will be surgery. Believed God and prayed and um, got scared though, but believed God and went in and usually time of healing, God made it so quick, just like he has got to do. We give God the glory. And she's fine. She's fine. She's moving like she's never been never fallen ill before. We give God the glory. Yes. And you know, Praise you, the Lord. And you won't fall ill anymore in Jesus' name. 
Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. I'm here to testify the goodness of God upon the life of my brother. Mm. God hear him perfectly for me. I thank God for his faithfulness upon us, upon, the, up, upon me and my family. I'm here to appreciate God. I thank you for healing. Amen. I thank you for everything. May, may the Lord be praised in Jesus. Hallelujah. Name. What was wrong with your brother? Sorry. Wow. He was poisoned. And God healed him. We give God the glory. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, sir. I'm just going to go through four testimonies in wow. less than a minute. Ah, okay. Okay. Sometime in February, I had a major health issue. And I felt I saw God bring me out alive. I practically begged God to take me. Because I couldn't deal with it anymore. But you can see me. I am healed and hurting. <laughs> now to the second one. Okay. So you may not know me, but I know you. Oh. I'm part of the beneficiaries of the scholarships. And Fountain of Life Church saw me through my schooling. I went to the University of Nigeria. And for an average student, if you schooled in Nigeria, you must go through one strike or the other. So I spent eight years in school. And to the glory of God, I came out to the second class upper. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, thirdly, after my illness, I needed a distraction and I went to an aviation school. So the first exam, I failed it. The second time, one Sunday, I was by the camera. But it, I'm in the audiovisual unit, they are an amazing department, by the way. I was by the camera and Pastor Biodun gave a testimony about, he just said a prophesying, that exam, you will pass it. Wow. I'm like, okay. I cleaned it, I read the exam again, I failed it. I'm like, God, okay, you know I'm not dull. Though. The third time, I was by the camera again, and Pastor Lara, she gave a testimony about how she wrote a professional exam and her system shut down, something, something. But she, I didn't really grab the message, but I'm like, God, this one that they are mentioning the exam again. God, I just want to grab it. And you know, God, Jesus resurrected on the third day. <laughs> and the third time I read the exam, I passed it. Amen. As a matter of fact, we're only two that passed it, and I was the first to come out of the hall. Now, lastly, August um, was my birthday, and it was a significant year for me because I turned 30. I know, I don't look it right, I know. But I just thank God for life, for youth, Amen. for good health. Many people underrate good health. I really thank God for everything. Amen. Amen. Wow. Wonderful testimonies. And it made me, it made, it made me to want to jump, and he said, you, you don't know me. I'm like, well, it's a fountain. It's called like, oh. Wow, now that's a testimony for me. We give him the glory. We give him the honor. And any more exams you will pass. In Jesus' name. Be they physical or spiritual, you will pass. Emotional, you will pass. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Very good testimonies. I'll just share briefly for 10 minutes. The reason is so that you can pick. I'm sure you've picked something that you could check in the word uh, since we started a lot. So you go back and do your studies. You'll be surprised that that's when it becomes very, very uh, beneficial to you. It's not just here and go, wow, what a word. And you go away and you have no time to ever turn back to it until the next, wow. What a word. And the next, wow, what a word. There are so many wows, what a word. But things have not really changed. It's because you haven't had time to go back over it and then meditate upon it. Because when the word comes that way and you pick a promise in the word of God, whether being spoken or being read, that's what the covenant is all about. It's about fulfilling a promise. God will fulfill his word. Yeah, that's, that's it. He will fulfill it. But you've got to be able to see it to own it. You've got to be able to understand it enough to own it. That's exactly what I want to talk about for a brief moment. Turn with me to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 11. I actually heard it clearly in my spirit, man. I didn't know what form the service will take. But I perceived that the devils were not happy. 
And that was, that was what confirmed it to me that God is about to do something for somebody. Now, somebody, something for somebody doesn't mean just one person. You can always be the one person or the somebody. He said, what is it? It's going to be a new beginning for you. In Jesus' name. And God said to me that when you say new beginning, somebody say, you're always saying new beginning. But wait a minute. What do you take your Christianity to be? What do you take it to be? Christianity is, is so many new beginnings. So many. The blessings of yesterday, keep thanking God for it, but expect something bigger. That's the kingdom of God. I'll teach on it one of these days. I have. I feel the fire there. Oh, you fell yesterday? Come on, launch back. Come boldly. There's mercy waiting for you. New beginning. Anyhow, new beginning. So there's always a new beginning. There's no room for getting stuck anywhere in the kingdom. No room. Check your Bible. Go check it. When things become routine, then there's a problem. When we get too used to God in certain way that we don't expect anything out of our meeting with him, there's a problem. Surely they are, I was glad when they said to me, oh, it's another Sunday. Glad, hallelujah. Oh, Thursday, hallelujah. That, because something will happen. You will be moved forward. There will always be a shift up. The covenant of is such that you are head, not tail. So what do you expect? The devil will do everything to make you less than that. So every encounter with God and every gathering of the saints together shift up. That's your position. There's always a reminder that you are seated with him in the heavenly places. Far above. Above the trouble that has been troubling you. It's always a new beginning. That's Christianity. <laughs> you can never have it all that you don't need God. Here I do. You will run into trouble. God forbid. That will never be your portion. In the name of Jesus. I say run in Yoruba. I think in Igbo you say Hashi. Am I right? Did I get it? Yeah. Only the Igbo people have not been teaching me Igbo anymore. All the Igbo I know I learned on the campus in Ibadan. Can you imagine? When I see Amaka, she will never speak Igbo to her. She will speak Yoruba, um, English or Yoruba back to me. You talk to Stan Yeka, she will answer you with English. You see. We give God the glory. Hebrews 11, 11. God must be honored. Must be honored. Must be honored. Jesus must be honored. In my life every day. Hebrews 11. Verse 11. By faith, Sarah herself also received strength, hallelujah, to conceive seed. And she bore a child when she was past the age. This verse is loaded. Because she judged him, capital H, God, covenant God, covenant keeping God. She judged him faithful who had promised. This verse is loaded. It summarizes everything. Of our Christian work. First let me say. Let me use the word. Let me pick the word itself. I won't go too far. I will continue on Sunday. Except God changes my direction. I said we will continue on Sunday. Last Thursday. And we did. Right. Only that he jeopardized our prayer time a little bit. But we still prayed. Right? Those who are here on Sunday, yes. God gave grace. Yeah. 
So maybe Sunday I'll finish it. Okay. By faith, Sarah herself, herself, also. <laughs> what did she do? Now let me ask you a question. With all that Jesus has done, which he will never get to repeat again, never. Is complete, finished. We, the beneficiaries, we continue to benefit from it forever. From generation to generation, it's, it's finished. A lot in our generation, we walk in the light of the finished work of Christ. Their lives will never be the same. And people will tell, wow! A lot in the coming generation will do the same. And they come, they come until Jesus comes. Because he has finished the work. But except you are able to receive what is finished and given to you, you don't benefit from it. Um, yeah. It's the story of Abraham. Look, God called Abraham. Abraham had a wife. Marriage is a covenant. Don't make, don't make less of it. I beg you in the name of Jesus. If you are beginning to forget, please be reminded. That's a big deal, covenant. Well, honestly, it's not a big deal. It's the whole deal. Because even there, you, see, you hear Paul advising when he's telling the woman or the man, he talks, he says, your marriage is like, the, it's like Christ and the church. So God knows what he's doing. He gives you an opportunity all the time to be like him in every way. What about those who will never marry? And leave them with God now. God has a provision for, a provision for them, honest. What about those who marry and never work? God has a provision for them. But you are married. Make the best of it. True. Make up your mind that I want this phrase. Husband, love your wife. Even as Christ loves you. Help me to love her like you love the church. Can you imagine? If that's all your prayers, you'll be amazed. When she says that your marriage is a mystery, he said, but I talk of Christ and the church. Glory be to God in the highest. I talk of submission. He said, just like the body submits to him. Yeah. But that's by the way. So it was Abraham that God called. But Abraham had a wife. So automatically it became the two. Did you hear him talk to a Sarah at any time except when he was a year to give him birth? Did you ever hear God talk to Sarah? And yet Sarah's effect will determine the outcome of Abraham's covenant life. So it matters who you marry. And it matters what you make of your marriage. It does. So in this place, God was talking to Sarah. And all the wise, Abraham, 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 then Abraham, 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 Abraham. Even when he changed Sarah, Sarah's name to Sarah, he didn't tell Sarah, he told Abraham. Abraham was the one who I went to tell her that your name has changed. God has changed your name to Sarah. Yeah. And so all the troubles and the drama and the struggle that Abraham had was together with Sarah. The one time we heard of Sarah was when he said, look, this trouble, why don't you go into my, 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 my slave and is it not a son? Your son? Hey! But what they failed, what she failed to realize was that God was not looking for any son. He was looking for a son through 
his covenant partner with his wife. So when he was saying that you have, uh, you are the father of nations, he knew what he was saying. So when he was changing the name of Sarah to Sarah, I said, because she will be the mother of nations too. And so Abraham, you know, you know. So when Abraham will now be talking to God and say that, look, bless Ishmael. He said, ah, are you the one to tell me what to do? You brought him forth. It's from your loins. I'm in a covenant with you. You don't need to tell me to bless him. He's blessed. Wow. I and the children of God, we are for signs and wonders. Don't mind the lie of the devil. We are for signs. He's afraid. That's why. He's so scared. God said, no. When I said that you'll be a father of nations, I'm talking of the son that your wife, Sarah, will give birth to. Uh-huh. Let me finish this quickly. If you read further, you get to chapter 21 or 18. Let me quickly read that 18. I will continue on Sunday. Genesis 18. I will read from verse 9. Thank you. Good. Then they said to him, that is the three men that came and met Abraham by the, Mamre, the oak tree in Mamre. Uh, then they said to him, after he had kind of you know, urged them to wait and give them water to wash their feet and give them some cold water to drink, and said, let me quickly get the little calf slaughtered and prepare some muscles so they can, you know, it was, his hospitality was something else. So after they had been, you know, were received, they said to him, he didn't know who they were, by the way. <laughs> the Bible said, God appeared to him. Why? He appeared as three. God is God. Then they said to him, Where is Sarah? See, when it comes to covenant, it involves everything about your life. Every. Don't think God doesn't see certain things, He sees all. Even what you thought he didn't see, he saw it all. And all things work together for good. I have to get clearer when we get to heaven. Then they said to him, where is Sarah, your wife? So he said, here in the tent. And he said, can you see the Bible? They said, and he said, And he is capital H. And he said, I will certainly. And I'm talking to someone here today in the name of Jesus. Out of this service, out of this service, you will certainly return. In the name of Jesus, I say, you will certainly return. He said, I will certainly return to you according to the time of life. You know what that means? I will come back to you at the full gestation of this miracle. That's what it means. I will come back. I know the gestation of your miracle, but it will come. In the name of Jesus. And certainly, I will be here. I will return to hear your testimony. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Time of life. And behold, Sarah, your wife, shall have a son. Sarah was listening in the tent door, which was behind, behind him. Go ahead. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, well advanced in age, and Sarah had passed the age of children, of childbearing. We can, a lot of things to analyze, but that will be later. The, um, child, yes. Therefore, Sarah laughed. Why? Because man past the age and now old come on so she laughed within herself she didn't she didn't go ha 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 she was behind the tent so they didn't see her face smiling but God sees your heart oh. 
<laughs> he sees my heart. <laughs> Is it not a covenant? Do you know the covenant keeping God? Are we not in covenant with him? I have to stop. It's, it's past 11. I'll continue on Sunday. God giving me grace. But let me just read this through. Saying, after I have grown old, shall I have pleasure? Ah, you see, can you see? Can you see how a woman would think? God said, pleasure, okay. Why well, pleasure that that man, you're a learning. <laughs> I'm God. Who made it so that you can have pleasure? Who determines the timing? Hmm. So she's given the reason why. I, so after I'm old, will I have pleasure? My Lord being old also. And the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh? Wow. Abraham didn't know that Sarah laughed. Can you see that your wife can do things and God will ask you? And you can do things and God will discuss it with your wife. Why did Sarah laugh? Abraham didn't argue because he knew that God is God. My advice to you is that please always deal with God as the covenant keeping God. I beg in the name of you. It will save you a lot of trouble. It doesn't matter who likes you, who doesn't like you. It doesn't matter what they are saying, what they are not saying. Please, don't be distracted. Looking on to Jesus, the author and the finisher. You want to finish? Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, you are the best, you are the... You want to finish? And finish the way God wants you to finish? And the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I surely bear a child since I'm old? He heard. He saw what she did. He heard what she told. And she didn't even laugh out. The la Bible says she laughed with him. So she didn't say it out. She said it in a thought. Then he said, Is anything too hard for God? And I'm asking you today, is anything too hard for God? Is anything too hard for our covenant keeping God? Come on. Is anything too hard? See, a lot of times people will count you out and talk and think you out. But is anything too hard for God? for the Lord. Well, even if we close now, you'll still be hiding under the rain for three minutes. We are closing. We are closing. We are closing. For the, is there anything to add for the Lord at the appointed time? I will return. I'm repeating. You will return with your testimony. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. And I will return to hear your testimony. He said. And we all return, and I mean, meeting him as he returns to make sure that what he has said, he was doing. Glory be to God. That's covenant, really. Remember, I was reading it for you from the, the when we're talking about El Shaddai and the meaning of El Shaddai, which is the covenant name, of, I mean, is, the, is the covenant revelation, the covenant name revelation of God. When God reveals himself as El Shaddai, he's entering into covenant with you. Old Testament to New Testament. I will, at the appointed time, I will return to you according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a, he repeated it. So when God wants to emphasize something twice, at least twice. But Sarah denied it. If I want version, I look at the moment and he said, but Sarah lied. But Sarah denied it, saying, I did not laugh. For she was afraid. So sometimes people lie because they are afraid. Although some lie because they want to deceive you. But people lie sometimes because they are afraid. You know? And he said, No, but you did laugh. 
Then the man rose from there and looked towards Sodom. Deal accomplished. Whether she laughed or not, we have settled that deal. We've established it in their heart. She, after 25 years of promise, 24 years of promise, I said, I'm coming back. Say, we'll continue on Sunday. But if you look, no, we can do on Sunday. Shall we rise? Somebody praise God for today. Somebody shout hallelujah. Some, I said somebody rejoice in his presence. <laughs> Never be discouraged. Never in your life. You're a covenant child of God. You are here for a purpose. You are here on a mission. And the covenant keeping God, who is your father, knows exactly where you are. And he has not given up. Why should you give up? Lift your hand again and say, Thank you, Jesus. So God must be honored. Must be honored. Must be honored. Jesus must be honored in my life every day. Father, we give you praise, we give you honor. Thank you for being here before us and being here with us. And now that we are living, going with us still, we give you all the glory for the sweet fellowship we've had with you today. We know there will be many more. And we, every fellowship we see us shifted up, becoming more like you in every dimension. Take all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. And so sin shall not have dominion over us. Because the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of us. And he quickens our, and he quickens our mortal bodies to the glory of his holy name. Amen. Tell somebody how much God loves them and how much we love them and you love them too. And I love you. I love you. God bless you.